Hey guys, welcome to a new tutorial today, and this is going to be something that I mentioned in my respawning video that I made a tutorial on, but it's going to be something that, have you ever had a problem in the more recent version of Unity that when you try and update a rigid body or a collider that uses physics, it just doesn't do it, and some things change because it used to do it before, whether you're choosing to respawn a player, whether you're choosing to change the scale, the position, rotation of a rigid body with the physics engine. Stay with So if you go to edit and then you go project settings and then we go to the physics tab we can have something called it's called auto sync transforms and by default it's actually set to false or it's off because in more recent versions of unity they disabled that because they found that that was a big impact on performance if you did a lot of rigid body calculations with scaling change of position and things like that so it's off by default and you need to manually trigger that and you can see that in the unity documentation in the physics.sync transforms and it'll talk about that when you transform a component on any rigid body or collider you reposition rotate or scale depending on the transform form you have to use this function to manually update the physics so it can actually do it so this was just a simple example to show you it working so I had the example script which just transformed the position of my player based on a respawn point that I give and without it if I just knock this line out if I now jump into unity and try and go into my collision it doesn't work anymore so we need to have the line which is called physics dot sync transforms and we're calling the method which is to manually update the physics so we'll be able to do one of those things that we want so as you can see that being the case we can now respawn as you would because we manually update the position so hopefully that cleared some things up so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe